11, 10 years later. Tonight, we're taking a look at how the terrorist attacks on our country have changed the airport experience for everyone who flies in and out around the United States. Taking flight is a much different adventure than it was just one decade ago. Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Sotnik joins us now outside TF Green Airport, live in Warwick, with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. Well, it sure is a change experience. I don't think too many people would argue that, but here at TF Green tonight, we wanted to know if people actually feel safer post 9-11. Planes taxi on the runway at TF Green Wednesday. One of the many airports nationwide that's taken on a whole list of new changes post 9-11. Yeah, I definitely feel safer. I mean, everybody's keeping an eye on everybody else. Some passengers feel safer, others indifferent. I just don't see any difference. You know, I never really feared anything. But in the 10 years following September 11th, we wanted to check in with TF Green to see what they're doing differently. According to Rhode Island Airport Corporation, some of those changes include additional security personnel, $25 million worth of new security equipment. The TSA now screens passengers instead of the airlines, and passengers undergo random pat-down searches and full-body scans. Passengers must also remove their shoes and outer layers of clothing through security. Carry-on rules have changed, and all baggage now goes through explosive scanners. Behavioral detection is also used to look for odd behavior, and only ticketed passengers can go through security. You do have to take everything out of your bag, you take your shoes off, they generally do look at you a little bit more carefully. There have been many changes in the past 10 years and uh, I don't feel much safer, to be honest with you. And the airport says tonight they don't reveal all of the security measures that they take. They say the public is not aware of everything. Reporting live tonight with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom from TF Green in Warwick, I'm Catherine Sonic, Eyewitness News.